But time now to meet the former Houston Dynamo man who's had a breakthrough season here at Bolton Wanderers, Stuart Holden. Daryl Curry caught up with him. Stuart, great to see you, great to catch up. How's life in Bolton going so far? Yeah, it's going really well. Um, the transition was easy uh, coming here in January and I've always felt really settled and at home here with you know, family nearby and um, it's, it's been a really easy and, and enjoyable transition. Yeah, every time I come here, the atmosphere at the club, at the training ground, seems to be so good. A mix of fun and serious. Does that sum <laughs> you up? Is this the perfect club for you? Yeah, I mean, the manager is probably the biggest jokester of the lot and, you know, on the field, uh, on the training field, you know, he jokes around in the warm-ups and everyone's laughing and, and there's banter flying around non-stop, but uh, once, uh, once, the, once training starts and, and uh, you know, we, we're working on stuff, it, it's fully serious and everybody understands that and I think we have a fine balance and, and that's kind of how I've, I've been in throughout my career, you know. You come to Bolton, you sign a short-term contract and then you break your leg playing for the national team. It was difficult circumstances. Yeah, I mean, it's part of football and I've come to realise that. It makes you look in the mirror and, and come back even stronger, so uh, the rehab and all the work I put in here, leaving at four o'clock every day from the training ground and, and trying to get fit for the World Cup, it, it really paid off for me because I felt like I got myself and, and did the work I needed to do to make it there. And then my next goal was obviously to come back and have a good pre-season and, and make a big impact on the, on the team this year. How would you prepare for a game like this with a team like Spurs who are doing so well and players like Gareth Bale and Van der Vaart and Modric? And yeah, um, Spurs, um, my debut, we lost 4-0. So. Um, it was a bit of a wake-up call in terms of you know the, the quality of opponents you play against, and, and Spurs are a better team from when we played them before. They've made some good uh, acquisitions, and, and Van der Vaart's a great player. But we're going to focus on ourselves and go about the game in the way the managers wanted us to. And any game at the Reebok, we were in with a chance of winning, and, and uh, Saturday is no different. Fans back home as well, Stuart, will be desperate to know: Are you keeping in touch with the MLS? Yeah, you know, I'm still a big fan of MLS, and I was uh, disappointed to see the Dynamo go out, but you know. I have a number of friends on on every team in the in the playoffs now, and you know I'm watching with uh, you know some pretty uh, interesting eyes to to see who's going to win it all. And your mum, of course, is back in Houston watching you, of course, closely. I hope she's watching this game, ESPN, at the weekend. Will she be watching? Yeah, she's. She'll probably have a, be having a watch party. Uh, <laughs> You know, a coffee, uh, coffee and breakfast party watching me play, and you know she's um, obviously the passing of my dad was was tough a couple of years ago, and uh, my, my mom's always been a big uh, big supporter of, of the the kids and uh, and their soccer exploits, and and now uh, she's she's taken on the role of critic, and it's it's funny because uh, she, it's it's amazing to see how much she's learned about the game now, and and how how astute she is to to little things off the ball or you know or good shots, whereas before it was just the goals, so. Um, uh, you know, maybe we'll pick her up as a part-time assistant manager. <laughs> okay, so now's your chance then. Come on, she's watching on. A message from Mum? Hey, Mum, thanks for uh, everything you do. Uh, I know you're watching and look forward to seeing you at Christmas, and uh, I love you. <laughs> you're, you're very welcome, Mrs Holden, if you're watching, having that watch party. He'll be lucky, won't he? Visiting at Christmas. She'd have to come here. He'll be playing all over Christmas in England. No breaks in the Premier League. <laughs> Mum always knows best, though. But he has done well, hasn't he, this season? I mean, he's, he's established himself in the Bolton side. He's got a new contract. And Owen Coyle, the manager, saying, this is the kind of player I can build my team around. Yes, good play. Versatile, technically very good. Gets forward from midfield as well, capable of scoring goals. And he's done fantastically well to recover as well from that horrible broken leg he suffered before the end of last season to indeed get back, you know, to the great form that he's been showing in recent weeks. It's worth remembering, too, that when he first came to England, he had a trial at Sunderland, didn't he? He was at Sunderland, and he got attacked outside a nightclub and broke his cheekbone. It's a hor horrific, really, before he went to America and then came back here. Well, that will put, uh, that will put certainly many players off from, uh, from coming back again. But if you've got that belief in your ability, and, you know, obviously, you know, the language is not a problem, you know, so he's, he's found his feet again. As I said, you know, in, in recent weeks, he's been able to get back into great form and playing for Bolton and Owen Coyle, who's adjusted their style for Bolton Wanderers, suits players like him absolutely down to the ground. He's a great lad. That's what Clint Dempsey was telling me.